Kia ora, good morning. It is Thursday, a pretty cold Thursday in Wellington out there, hence the, uh, hence the jacket. I'm Mike from Markets. This is Kiwi Bank Markets in a minute. Righty ho, uh, the New Zealand dollar. Bit of a wild ride overnight. Uh, we wrapped up yesterday with the Kiwi sitting around 61.9 US cents. Uh, then the early evening saw another bout of equity market enthusiasm. Basically that enthusiasm built on hope that a, a more normal way of life might not be too far away, globally speaking. Uh, that and the announcement of some pretty aggressive monetary support plans from the EU. Yeah, so that sent stocks surging. Surging stocks generally take risk currencies like the Kiwi along for the ride. And that's pretty much what happened until seemingly everyone suddenly remembered, uh, wait, US-China tensions, isn't that a thing we meant to be worried about? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, overnight, the US officially stated that and I need to get this correct, so I wrote it down. It's on my screen thingy here. A lot of the stuff I make up as I go along. Shocking, I know. It's probably not that shocking. Anyway, the official line from the US Secretary of State was, no reasonable person can assert today that Hong Kong maintains a degree of autonomy from China given the facts on the ground. I never studied Polsai, but the crux of that statement is it can open the door to sanctions on individuals. Uh, that was the suggestion yesterday, anyway, that uh, took the wind out of the Kiwi sales on its last rally. Um, and yeah, it's a big spanner in the works of US-China trade negotiations. This is, it really is quite a big deal. Uh, and I'm not the person to explain it in a short time constrained video. We'll link to some of the more informative articles out there in first hand. Yeah. Uh, oh, and in addition to that, uh, Huawei's CFO lost a legal challenge over extradition from Canada to the US. Yeah, remember that? That was a thorny issue in like late 2018, early 2019, maybe? Front and centre again. Anyway, getting back to the Kiwi, uh, the bird rally is on equity advances, but is super sensitive to anything China related. And so it fell pretty hard, hitting a low of 61.5 before recovering 61.7-ish. Uh, 62.3 was the high overnight. I don't think I covered that before, yeah. Um, and 61.7, that's where we are currently. And it's a level we've talked about a couple of times this week. Kind of key, definitely one to watch. Uh, okay, quick, ugh, quick big picture summary. Uh, global equity markets do still remain positive at the moment, uh, but did give up some earlier gains on that China story. Uh, oil, yeah, again, China story, but hit harder. 5%-ish declines in barrel prices overnight. Uh, switching back to even crosses, we outperformed the Aussie and the pound, underperformed against the yen and the euro. So, yeah, a fair bit of movement in Kiwi crosses, uh, which is why we have those handy-dandy tables in first hand. Yeah, okay. That is far from everything, but that is probably enough. Uh, the EU support plans, I sort of touched on that. That's a story that's probably far more deserving of attention than we gave it here. Yeah, give your dealer a holler if you have your own interests. They can give you the skinny with fewer time constraints than me. Yeah. Have a good day. Give high